Billie Eilish, My Boy, the Troy Boy Remix. Hi, Zios Pantera, host of Inner Fetish. And we're going to play another game today. How much do these cost? Because I don't know. Pull them off the old shelf. I went there going, I want to find the most expensive thing on the shelf. What looks expensive? Lime ears, Panemma, P-N-E, Russian N-M-A, metal plate, big pelican case, green confetti, lime ear bags holding things. Yeah, these are the winner. Oh, it's also uh, literally signed, created by Juicy, inspected by Magello. Magello? 321, date of birth, 321, March of 2021. I'm a little late on this review. Tips it comes with. Yellow and green for lime ears, uh, silicones, and also the, uh, which ones are these? Sad burger burgers? The ones that basically my Rinko tips are the cheap alternative for. Oh, my, the render tips. So the fact that it comes with these means I'm obviously using them with my render tips. Um, I'm also not using on their stock cable, because here's their stock cable. And I was like, all right, I'll use a stock cable. Ah, oh, damn it, it's a 3.5 millimeter. And then I look, and it says PW Audio, which means it's not a Lime Ears cable. By the way, I'm still listening to music. Real Billie Eilish is just blasting, and I'm just going with it. So this is not a cable made by Lime Ears, which means they outsourced it to this PW Audio company, which means it's probably a nice cable. I'm guessing $1,100, $1,099 is the price in these IMs, because that's the sort of shit I'm feeling with them. Um, I swapped originally from this cable to the Chimera cable, which is my uh, balanced interchangeable head uh, two pin, which it is two pin. But then I'm like, all right, look, if it's gonna be an expensive IM and it's using a custom cable, I gotta go with the effect audio, insanely large mofo that I've got. And going from that to this, there is a difference. So, calm down, everybody. I picked that wallpaper because no one knows how rich she is in that show, in case you don't know. Like, you're like, oh, she's the best. I could date her. No, you can't. You're not rich enough. Right, let's look at them before I get the price out. I have them on the cable. I have them on the neck. Battery death. Okay, so I let's take them off my head and look at them before we talk about the price or look at the price. Holy fuck, these are loud. What is, first of all, large. Like massive. I know nothing about them except for the name. I'm taking a guess at eleven nine at ten ninety nine for the price. If these are eight hundred, everyone's gonna run out and fucking buy them. I'm thinking they're ten ninety nine, maybe more. You see, because they look like that. They've got like color changing glitter on all sides. They're fucking massive. And if you didn't notice it, because I barely noticed it, there's a switch here, a little tiny external switch, and. You know, I usually get the ones that are up here, and sometimes you can click them with your fingernails, but sometimes you gotta take them off and use them a, a tool to like swap them back and forth between A and B or A, B and A, B. And this is just a switch, like a normal, like I could actually flip this like a dip switch, like dip switch switch, which I'm rather fucking impressed with, and I wanna see more IMs with this switch. Now, what does that switch do, Zeus? Because again, I haven't looked up the price, I have no idea, there's no real paperwork inside of there. So I just had to use my, my ears, oh shit. My phone does not like it when it charges above 80, so I have to mute the fucker when I'm doing reviews. Anyway, yes, lots of alerts. Um, this switch does an entire frequency shift. I thought it was just bass. At first, I flipped the switch. There was a very consistent song, and I flipped the switch up, and it was like, all right, we have a little more bass, a little more warmth. Boring. And then I got to a song where it was like, Sibilant, like there was some someone singing, and it was like oh, 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 and then I flipped that switch to see if the bass boost would help bring it down, and it completely eliminated the sibilance. So it's not just it, if we assume that this is the neutral switch down position, then this is the switch up position. It's a little bit of a bass boost, a bit of a warmth boost, and it just kills the highs to the point where it's like, you know what, that's not going to hurt anymore but I'm still feeling like it's an $1,100 IM. Let's see. 
Let's see. I'll, I'll make my judgments. I have copied the name into the clipboard. I haven't hit go. Star Twilight Stringer Yum Audio this is not going to show up here. I don't know if it was sent to me by Hi Fi Go or it's got to be Lin Soul. Or maybe it was direct because I think I, I, Lime Mirrors for some reason reached out directly at some point. Okay, orchestra Light. Come on. Am I going to have to go to fucking Google? What is happening? You would think the Panimim. Panimim? Let's see. Let's Google search it. Lime Ears Custom In Ear Monitor Universal Fit. Panimim. Oh my lords. All right. Well, I was wrong. These are 1,800 euros. And there's an update for 2022. Good, I need you to send me one because these things are great. I just, I didn't, okay, okay. Panuma, I spelled it right. Pen, pen, new, any, oh wait, I spent Panima. Wait, Panuma? Hold on, I think I may have, may have fudged this. Let's go back to here. Did I just search the word lime? Panuma, P N E N M A. Why is it freaking the hell out? Nothing found for Panuma. Okay, well, we're going to have to go off their website and be like 1800 fucking euros. The switch. Switch changes level of lowest frequency, approximately three successful, negative 100 hertz. You have to make changes depending on listening level. Make Fletcher, to make use of the Fletcher Munz law. Lower listening level is basically. This does way more than boost bass. If that's what they're saying, then it's wrong, or they've swapped it for the 2022. Maybe that's what the 2022 has changed. Facts, tonality. Like, I knew from the packaging this was going to be an expensive at least $800 IM. And then when I heard it, I was like, all right, no, 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 no. $1,000 plus. Because it has that. That richness of sound. What even is the design philosophy of it? And I wish I could tell you what the original one was. Description. What is it? What's in it? It's got BAM trademark technology. All new exclusive design. A PW Audio number 10 cable, which is probably what we're looking at. What's in it? Is anybody going to tell me? Does no one say what it is? I'm, I'm curious now. Universal I am. Where, what's the driver configuration? All right, hold on. I'll put this back in my ear while we read and do research like a boss. I am neck thing from hi -Fi Go. Oh, pull that shit out. Yeah, uh, red lettering on this one, which is a serial number, and blue lettering on this one, which is a serial number. And we are using the render tips. So we've changed the cable, and we've changed the tips, and Jesus Christ, the colors on it. Uh, we'll make sure the switches are down so we get the more flat response. It's so big, it's got to have stuff in it. What's inside of you? Tell me. Yeah, there's a switch. All right, I'm going to have to do some actual, actual searching, so give me a second. I went to the custom one, the custom in-ear version, and it tells me what's in it. Can I just scroll this for a second? Holy fuck, the settings. Plain color shell, glitter color, premium color, signature designs. And you could swap left and right, could have different complete designs. Including the shell color, could have this many colors. And then you could have glitter dust just left or right. You could have 24 karat gold leaf, which is an extra 50 or just left or right. And then you could do face plates, so many of them. And then you could do your own custom laser engraved logo for 50 euros or time machine or rhinestones to like what is what is even this and then okay so here's here's what's inside of this it's a five-way unit four balanced armatures one seven millimeter titanium driver that is responsible for simply sub bass frequencies I've that's seven's tiny. These fuckers are huge, so I don't know what they're doing with all this space in here. I have to read you this though. I love I love these IMs. They're great. They're absolutely worth a thousand dollars, and the switch, at least in this configuration, does change things enough that I would actually use it per song. But I have to read you this. Um, 
Where did it, where was it? Okay. Sacred geometry. Okay. So thanks to the seven millimeter titanium driver, titanium dynamic driver responsible for the sub-base frequency, low end is more pronounced and punchy than ever other than other wait, punchy than every other Limeers monitor. The sparkly treble region results in a very dynamic yet sophisticated sound signature that is very easy to listen to. Fine. In terms of the design, we really wanted to create something inspired by sacred geometry. Put on your tinfoil hats. Also, since it's a hybrid design using dynamic driver, we focus on the concept of dynamism. We imagined color shifting red to be a color of dynamism, a bit like molten lava, paired with a seed of life symbol representing creation. Having that in mind, we wanted Penume to look dynamic, spicy, and sophisticated at the same time, pushing our boundaries of design creation further than ever. I think I spit on the screen. That was a lot to say. Look, I don't give a shit, you know, if they're, they tell me Satan's going to come out of them. They fucking sound good. They're expensive, and the fact that you can get... Actually, this is dated December 2020. So this is not a brand new thing, and this is for the custom one. Th these are great. I like everything they're doing in my head. I went through all the different amplifiers, including the Aries, which... Um, and it sounds equally good on fucking everything. I don't know if I tried this pairing yet with this wire. Oh, God. These are absolutely... Are these the most expensive IMs I've done in a while? Like 1,800 euros is... 1,800 euros in US dollars. 1,800 euros equals $1,942. That's a $2,000 dollar fucking IM. Man, do I know how to pick them off the fucking shelf. I, I want to sell these in the yard sale just so I could make my cut back but at the same time it's like how have I had these for this long on a shelf yeah yeah left hand free and your eyes seeing grip left hand free by uh, alt j these are fucking spectacularly good like they sound they're they're two thousand dollars guess what they sound like a two thousand dollar I am they look it they're huge like, they're fucking huge. They're massive. Again, I'll borrow the Z12 to compare. There's a, no a normal I am. That's like a normal one. And that's what this looks like. It's like they could shove this entire I am inside of this and then hide another I am around it to make sound. It's fucking huge. And putting this stiff ass cable on it's not helping the deal. But man, did they go like, hey, we're just gonna, we're gonna make it colorful. So, um, yeah. I guess I'm giving a recommendation to a $1,900 or $1,800 euro I am. I, I'm sure you can buy it with a 4.4. Because, I mean, that's fucking silly if you're selling at that price. By the way, the custom one and the universal one are the same price. So don't let that hold you back. If you're going to get it, you may as well get the custom one at this price. And then you get Symbio tips, or you can get the render tips, and then you get a cool case, and you get the, the green grass. I remember when I opened this up in the box, I was like, ah, oh, you fucks. Don't you be giving me this shit. My cats are going to find this. Oh, it's on my shirt. Yeah, so um, I guess Limeers sent this out to me directly. I apologize, Limeers, for literally like putting it on the side and being like, eh, whatever. Let's just call this organization. It's more fun. So now we know exactly how much she's worth. A lot. I did even talk about sound. I feel like I've been bitching about how expensive they are and all the cool features, but actual sound. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's give them let's give them a listen. Like one, le I don't think the the length of this video is gonna matter because shh, I gotta talk for the amount of money they are worth. Like a dollar a minute. I'll be here till next Tuesday, unless it's well, even if it's Wednesday, it'll still be next Tuesday. All right, we're going to do switches down. We're coming off the LA-90. I'm 
All right, right now is Alt Free is Alt J Left Hand Free, the Lido mix, and it's a very very punchy, very active song. It's just it's, ah ah, and it's right there in your face, no subtlety at all. Then I put Chic Good Times on, you know. We are family. I think that's the song. The times, and it's just smooth and soft. It has, and this is what's a switch down. There's no added bass boost. It's punchy. It's fast. These sound fast. All right, next song, John Wick's In My Mind, which is from the first John Wick, which was the best John Wick. Don't you fucking say the third or fourth one was better. This is one of my favorite songs, like, in just in general. It was made for the movie. In my mind. There's, like, a crack. There's, like, like there's someone snapping into, like, a $30,000 microphone. Like, snap. And I could fucking tell how long their nails are. Detail is incredible. And this is a very wide, echoey song. Like, they're, they're recording it in a way that's big sounding. And it absolutely comes across. Eh. These are not a relaxing I am. Let's put it that way. Like, on average, you'll get one or two songs that are like, okay, this one stepped back. And it's sort of like... But everything else is just energy, energy, energy. Get in there. The, the orchestra lights that I did that were like $200, I thought those had like... Like, I brought those to a LAN party because gaming. And I'm like, oh, these lime ears. This is... This is what happens when you have like a two thousand dollar budget for an IM. This is nutty. Cause it's just Yoshi Horikawa splash. There's a sound of water bubbling up, but it sounds like he reversed it, so it sounds like my brain is draining of its fluids. The imaging is just like it's subtle. It's like left. Do, 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 do. Oh, the bass line's about to kick in. Hold on, hold on. Let's hear that seven millimeter titanium. That's pretty impressive for just a seven millimeter dynamic. If it, all it's doing is sud bass, if they got shit, that shit locked down to like 70 hertz and below, or even lower, I mean, if it's doing sub bass, that could qualify as like 30 hertz and below. Yeah, there's just sounds washing over my head. It's the this would only compete with the um the let shore that I did the let shore um cadenza. I don't even remember the U twelve T well enough to be like, oh, this versus U twelve T. I feel like this has a different shape of the sound. The U twelve T was very clean and just insanely hyper detailed. This this feels like it's taking all those sounds, boiling them in a melting pot, and pouring them into my fucking brain. It's one of those IMs that you don't change tracks. That's the thing it does. That's a sign of a good IM, of a great IM. I did that with the Yoon Ultras. It's like you put on music and it's like, okay, I got a test. And then six, it was literally a seven minute track. I just sat here staring at the wallpaper as it went by. And these are no different. I like. I should be just next track, next track. Just want to get real. Can't do it. Can't switch tracks. So yeah, no, I'm dumb. I'm dumbass. I uh, I'll have two thousand dollar. I am on a fucking shelf for two years. Um, it's fine. It's fine. We're we're all. This is all part of the learning process. Uh, it's not easy being a YouTuber, and as, uh, as you know, sometimes you lose track of things. So yeah, links to the lime ears, Panuma. If they're anywhere but Lime Ears, I'll link there. But if they're on Lime Ears only, which I'm imagining they are, I will link to both. Yes, link to both the Universal and the Custom Fit. Um, these in a Custom I am would be fucking wicked, especially since they're so big, out and about. I, I guess this switch should not cost thousands of dollars. This switch should be on little tiny I ams, hundred dollar I ams. I want this switch. So yeah, Lime Ears, you make some of the best I ams. I was just saying how C Audio is probably my favorite company because I never miss. Lime Air has had the one or two that I I wasn't like into, but with the orchestra lights and then these and then I think there was one other set I did recently that was also a Lime Ears that I rather enjoyed. Yeah, no, they're fucking. It's, it's a weird name, but they're killing it. 
They're fucking killing it. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. She's in the wallpaper horde. Links to this. I'm using the uh, render ear tips, but I'm going to use the Symbios or the stock ones. Look, if you got this sort of money, you could just, I don't know, you could buy literally everything on this desk. and be like, huh, did I buy that? I don't remember. I was drunk. Um, yeah, subscribe to this channel. So, uh, maybe I'll, I'll get an assistant to help me fucking organize and be like, hey, did you know you have like a $2,000 I am like sitting on a shelf back there? Did you know that? Maybe I didn't know that. I don't know. I didn't, what, do I, what do I know? I don't know anything.